Northern Territory ministers have fronted the media today to explain their government's role in the development of a port on the Tiwi Islands. The ABC revealed yesterday there are no public records of an environmental assessment of Port Melville by the federal or territory governments. While the federal minister Greg Hunt expressed his serious concern, the territory's environment minister said his government had no power to stop the port. Kate Wilde reports. The statement was shocking in its simplicity. There was no, uh, no EIS completed, nor was there a notice of intent. Oh, there was a notice of intent completed, but not to the satisfaction of the EPA. But there was more. I, I don't think there's any way that the government can stop development going ahead under current legislation. It was a no-frills admission that the Territory Government had little environmental oversight, of a deep seaport built in an area significant to nationally and internationally threatened wildlife. Peter Chandler, who was the Environment and Planning Minister when Port Melville's construction began, was on Melville Island today. He had a different explanation for the port's approval. Well, I know that there was uh, EISs involved in this process. Whether every box has been ticked, I mean, that's for the EPA to decide. Asked where the environmental impact statements could be viewed publicly, Mr Chandler referred journalists to the Environment Protection Authority. Uh, they are the people that are responsible to keep an eye on and ensure that uh, project managers out there are doing the right thing. But I'm very confident that the right thing is being done here. Mr Chandler said it was up to the EPA to approve a project's environmental impact, not the government. But surely the Territory Government has to approve that before the construction goes ahead, that's what I'm confused about. No, it's approved by the EPA. The chairman of the EPA says he does not have the power to approve or reject developments. That power sits with government, which took the ABC back to here. The responsible minister for port development is a, a loophole in the legislation. There's no responsible minister for signing off on a port development. Meanwhile, one minister was clear about his views. I want to know why this was not presented uh, in a formal application uh, and uh, we want that rapidly and if further action needs to be taken we will take it without fear or favour no matter where the blame lies. The ABC approached the company who owns the port for an interview but did not receive a response. Kate Wilde, ABC News.